Hey, David Kleiman here with the EMS Operations Division. Today I'm going to be telling you about a new video laryngoscope that we're going to, the UE Scope 2. We'll be going over all the features and a little bit of different technique when you're innovating with it and some of the new features that we can do, which is actually going to be pretty cool coming out with still shots and or videos that later on be used in your PCR. So I'm going to go over some of the new UE Scope 2 features. As you can see here, it's got a 3-inch touch screen. On the three inch touch screen, we'll have a couple little different features that we'll be going over in just a few minutes. Uh, also know that it has a 200 minute battery life and there's a green battery indicator that's going to be in that top left corner of the screen up here on the left. It will also tell you when you start to record video eventually that how many minutes in that top left corner are left on your videos. Each of them has a single use blade. We also are going to be able to do a screen mirroring, so if you're doing a face-to-face -face intubation, the screen will actually invert itself so you can actually see your face-to-face. -face. It's actually, once you connect it and turn the power on, it's actually ready to go in a few seconds. And then, if you notice at the bottom here, each of these blades, and we're going to go over it more specifically in a minute, they're hyperangulated, and that makes it easy. You have one blade for either simple intubations all the way to those difficult anterior patients, obese, or patients with long necks. The power button is going to be on top, and on the side right here is going to be your UC connector. The UC connector is going to be a connected to the USB for you to download or attach your pictures and videos to your PCR. It's also where we're going to be charging it. Remember, this is 200 minutes at fully charged, so every weekly check on your rescues or ALS equipment when this gets pushed out to all the ALS engines, you need to make sure that you're charging this to keep it up to 200 minutes. The little black button on all of the single one-time use blades is going to be where you're going to be recording. A simple push of the black button once you have a still shot picture. If you hold it down, it's going to start recording and you're going to see a red indicator that's flashing that's telling you currently recording. So until we attach videos to the PCR, if you hold the button down for approximately two seconds and you notice a red flashing indicator saying that you're doing a video, you need to double click so you can then get your single picture to attach to your PCR. So right now, once you see that endotracheal tube go through the vocal cords, you're going to do a single one-time push of the black button that will take a snapshot picture that you attach to your PCR showing you had a successful intubation. But we will now be able to attach to PCRs a great picture showing how good your intubation you did by watching that tube go straight through the cords. So as you can see right here on the UE scopes, we're going to end up carrying all five blades. We're going to have blades from the neonates all the way up to your very obese and giraffe patients. The unique thing about these blades is they're hyperangulated, and I'll show you a blade close up in a second. It's about as narrow for those old school medics in here when we used to manually innovate with the Miller and Macintoshes. It's as wide as the old Miller blades. We're all used to the McGrath or King Vision and they have wide blades. So the difference here is for those newer school medics is that you're going to have to go and do the old school manual innovation techniques to successfully innovate with this device. The cool feature is that every blade is hyperangulated, which that means that you can use this like a Miller blade or a Macintosh blade. It's a combination, or if you're thinking about it from our McGrath standpoint, it's a combination of the extreme blade, which means that once you choose whichever blade you want for your patient, you only need that one blade to intubate that patient. It's not going in there and saying, oh man, I need to go grab a McGrath 4. Oh no, I need to go grab extreme blade. It's one blade that does the, takes the place of two old school blades. The EMS division is currently working on a new airway bag that's completely vinyl and it's going to be nice and cleanable. And inside that airway bag, you will actually get all five blades. So you're going to go from the zero, from the neonates, all the way up to the big old giraffe one. You're also going to have your little black case that's protecting your UE scope. And you will also have a little bag that we're recommending in the EMS division that you place in the office so everybody knows where it's at because it's going to have your USB to UC that's going to help charge it and also to take the pictures from your camera and attach to your PCR. 
And also in there is going to be your charging port that you can actually just connect to the USB to charge up your scope. Remember, every Tuesday or whenever your weekly is on that, I would go and charge this up. Remember, it's 200 minutes time, but from zero to full charge is a full three hours. So make sure you charge that up at least once weekly. When you're taking your UE scope out, it's got to be attached to the blade before you turn it on. If you have any further questions or you want additional training, please reach out to the MS Operations Division. So once again, you have your left top, it's gonna to be your power. I've got a full charge. Remember, it's 200 minutes. On the bottom left is gonna be the icons that we're gonna go through in a minute. And you're also gonna have your date and your time. So let's go through your features. Push it once. On the settings, if you go push the settings, here's where you can change your date or time. And you push your settings button, here are the features that are under here. Enable freezing. The only way I can tell you about this is this would be like you doing a panoramic shot on your phone. We're going to keep this in the offload, and the reason being is, is if you push the black button to take a picture, it's continuously picturing, but if you move your orange scope, you're not going to be able to see what's happening until you push the black button again. So keep enable freezing off. You want to keep your enable mirroring on. When the enable mirroring's on, and you go to do a face-to-face -face innovation, you're going to push your on button once, and it's going to take your screen and flip it for you. The enable recording you're going to keep off, and what the enable recording is, as soon as you put a blade on and the enable recording's on, it's going to start filming immediately. They do this for the anesthesiologist world because they go back and edit their videos. We don't edit our videos, so keep enable recording off. You're going to keep enable auto shutdown on because if you forget to turn it off in 10 minutes, this will turn itself off. So on the settings screen, enable mirroring should be on, and enable auto shut off, shut down should be on. If you go to IMG, this is your image adjust. This is where you can make the screen lighter or darker, different types of saturations and concentrations. So if you're innovating out in direct sunlight, so with this, this is your screen brightness screen. That's what the luminescence means. On your system, you're going to need to keep the enable AV output on. And that's so you can take your still pictures and attach them to your PCRs. Your language setting is in English. When you get to the point, now this is 32 gigabytes. So this is going to take a substantial amount of pictures. So let's say in a year from now, you're actually on full on your memory. Remember, all those pictures have been attached to your, your QA reports. You would actually go into systems and you would erase all the files. So you would dump the whole 32 gigabytes to start again. Don't play with the re uh, restore default settings. That's something the EMS operations will do if something happens here. They can actually reset your computer for you. And the Wi-Fi, we do not use. Simple pushing back gets you to the return. And now you're ready. Remember, you've got to have a blade attached to be able to see a picture. If you have any further questions or you want additional training, please reach out to the EMS operations division.